Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Welcome you all to Monday, upper body flow. Please uh, uh, sign in if you can and find a comfortable position to sit. Whether you're sitting on a chair or on top of a pillow cushion or your yoga mat. So nice to see you all here. We are going to begin with, um, it's called um, organ breathing. So this is a new breath, especially for this time of the year where we may feel a little bit more tension and stress depending on each and every one of us. Probably speaking for myself where I'm trying not to be busy <laughs> and it's still there's so many little things to do. So let's close our eyes together. Make sure you sit in a comfortable position. And just take a moment to feel your breath. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And just notice, take an impression of you being seated as you are. Feel your body, feel the tissues, your physical body. With intention to expand and to create more space to release any tension from the body from the organs, from the fascia, muscles, joints. And as you breathe in deeply, bring awareness to the center of your chest. And imagine the body as a cylindrical, form with the muscles and bones as the container and the soft organs as the inner contents. You don't have to be specific. If you know the location of your heart, great. <laughs> your lungs, your liver, your spleen, your inter internal organs. But just breathing deep into the body, into the organs. And then they dilate, dilate and retract, expand and contract with each inhalation and each exhalation. So feeling how the deeper layers dilate to fill and connect to the outer layers. Keep locating your breath, and as you locate the breath more carefully and centrally in your body, notice if the quality of your breathing and your mind state has changed in any way. Staying with your breath. Almost noticing that the initiation of breath changes from inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose to inhaling through the organs and exhaling through the organs. And keep that awareness to the center to feel the difference between that initiation of your breathing from the outer versus to the inner layers. And now shift your attention into your muscles and your bones as they express, expand and press against the skin. And then back, shift your awareness once more into the inner body. 
right in the center of your being as if you could initiate the breath from the center, inhaling and expanding. And exhaling and softening. Notice how your body feels. Noticing your shoulders. Relax your shoulders in any possible way. Lengthen the spine as you inhale and exhale to soften the spine and to relax. So you are seated, aligned, tall as much as you can in a comfortable position. There's comfort in your seat. At any point through pranayama, if you need to change your position, go ahead and change your position. We are going to do a sequence of pranayama again for vata and kapha pacifying on this beautiful winter solstice today saying goodbye to the fall season, which so much feels like winter already. And welcoming winter, even colder season, making sure we keep the body strong and warm. So we'll begin with Anuloma Valoma, always alternating nostril breath to balance and harmonize the energy of breath. We'll do two sets of 10 rounds. So whenever you're ready, close your eyes. If they're not closed already, and begin breathing deep through the left nostril. Soothing, expansive breath. And again, expanding from the center, exhaling through the right, inhaling through the right, and exhaling through the left. Long, soothing breath without rushing. Have your tissues ready whenever you need to blow your nose. We don't want any obstructions. Clean, clear nostrils. Deep breath to the top of the lungs. Inhaling and expanding through the entire chest, entire lung tissue, breathing to the bottom of, this, of the lung tissue as much as we breathe to the top of the lungs. Finishing up. Soften to the neck. Exhale to pause. So in Anuloma Veloma, we focus to guide the breath to the top of the lungs. And then from there, we expand simultaneously to the lower ribcage, entire chest and lungs. Bringing awareness to the lower ribcage. Going in more breath. So as we pause, let's practice the belly breath so we can expand even more through the lower ribcage, the lung tissue with the high density of 
capillaries and the diffusion. This is where the most of the diffusion happens of oxygen carbon dioxide. So we tend to breathe to the top of the lungs as we are not in control of our breath, shallow breathing when we stress especially. So therefore that deep breath in with the sigh helps to relax. And if you observe someone, your partner, if they're stressed or your friend, your parent, they usually do that. You know, so it tells us a lot about the breathing and about the tissues. So just when we come to pause in between every one of the pranayama exercises, let's practice that even simultaneous inhalation to the heart space and the navel, which expands the chest cavity and expands the abdominal cavity. So we're bringing more prana energy to the lower lungs to help the ex, ex, um, exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide through the lower lungs. So second set of anuloma veloma, filling in the lungs evenly, the left, right side, top, bottom, sides, front, back. So it's deep and expensive soothing breath. Beginning on the left, always finishing on the left for 10 rounds. Any mucus below your nose. Soften to your neck, back and front. Softening through the face, relax your jaw. Nothing else to do, nothing else to think about, just breathing in and out for 10. We're not inhaling groceries. We're inhaling prana, soothing energy of healing, life force energy. So we're not inhaling and exhaling our agenda where the mind goes. Try to keep your mind and awareness right on your breath, with your breath, all the senses with your breath and your body. Finishing up, finishing on the left. Wherever you are, finish up on your pace. And come to relax and meditate. As we meditate, we are not going through the list of shoppings and gifts and things to do and not to do and places to be. We are just sitting as much as we can with the mind, with awareness to the breath. And just listening to your breath, listening to my voice from time to time, 
but gathering this energy and your intention. What is your intention? Just breathe your intention in and out. Intention is positive affirmation, soothing affirmation. I am love and light. I am strong. I am well. Whatever resonates with you. I am peace. I am harmony. I am joy. I am calm. You feel any tension through your heart, through your chest, exhale through the mouth with a gentle sigh. And hold on to that, to that intention because we are coming to Bastrika and Bastrika is cleansing, clearing, clarifying, healing the body. I'm trying to move away slowly like a turtle from this computer so you can see me better. Bastrika, two sets of 10. Again, you can do the first set, the original version with pens in Gyana Mudra. Open your elbows, relax, and exaggerate it. Inhale, like exhale. Inhaling, exhaling through the nose. Deep breath. Second round with your arms extended. Okay, whenever you're ready, begin. Remembering to pause, very important. Last one, inhale, pause, lengthen the spine, drop your chin, really expand through the chest, drop your shoulders, lift your heart, exhale when you're ready, and relax. Bastrika bring the brings the lightness to the body, so it's natural to feel light in the chest, in the head. Closing your eyes will help to stay grounded. It is kapha, pacifying pranayama, and we know kapha is heavy, it's the earth element and water element, but mostly earth element. So like increases like, opposite balances, bringing lightness to the heart, shifting, lifting depression. It's uplifting pranayama, so it brings more energy to the body. So second set, your choice. You can stay in the original version for 10 rounds or bringing more heat to the body, extend your arms up, exhale, coil in, draw the elbows in. You can open your fists, stretch your fingers, close your fists, especially if your hands feel cold. 10 rounds whenever you're ready. It's always your pace and your flow. Inhale in, lengthen the spine, and pause when you're finished just to rest. Notice what shifts, what's coming up. Just staying in that neutral space, place, without controlling your breath, and just welcoming whatever arrives. in relationship to your breath. 
Keep your mind on your breath. Keep your mind on your heart. Moving to Agni Sara. So it's Agni Sara for the upper body flow, connecting the digestion with the thyroid. Helping to release excess, excess mucus from the stomach. Again, Kapha pacifying. So for Agni Sara, we take the deep breath in, exhale to empty completely, draw the navel in and up and stay there. Um, empty, no breath. Relax the belly and contract. Relax and contract for as many times as you can without pushing yourself over the edge. Just staying in a comfort of this exercise. We'll do three sets, so pausing in between each one of them. Deep breath in. Empty completely. When you're ready, inhaling in and pausing to be. Allowing that energy to settle in the pause. You can draw your vision to the top of your head, keeping your eyes closed. Meditating on the heart, feeling the heart expanding with each exhalation and inhalation. Moving the heart forward as you Inhale and exhale, relax through your shoulders, noticing your shoulders, noticing any tension through your shoulders. And second set, Amisara, deep breath in, empty, don't empty, relax and contract the belly all the way out and all the way in there's a waving motion massaging the internal organs When you finish, come to pause again and meditate on the third eye center. Draw the vision to the third eye center, keeping your eyelids relaxed and closed, but without forcing the eyes to close. Naturally, sometimes the eyes will slightly open and just stay there, meditating on the third eye center. Exhale and coming back to center and one more round, Agnisara. And as you finish, come to meditate on the third eye center.
From here, coming into with Jai breath, the victory breath again, uplifting energy, kind of a pacifying pranayama, strengthening the vocal cords, strengthening laryngeal muscles, balancing thyroid glands. So it is that high pitch sound on the inhale. All the way and then exhale through the left for seven seven rounds of with jai As we finish up, just pausing, just being, coming back with awareness to the heart, inhaling your intention and exhaling your intention. To Cat and cow seated. So if you're changing a position from the mat to the chair or chair to the mat, below wherever you are. Seated, cat and cow, inhaling deep, tilting the pelvis forward, opening the heart, lengthening the spine, lifting the chin. Gently draw your shoulder blades back and exhale. Soften your shoulders, coil in, chin to chest, give it room to needle. Very deep and expansive breath. Again, focusing on that heart center and expanding from the heart as if you could initiate the breath right from the heart. Create more length in between your shoulders and your ears. Create more length in between your lower rib cage and your pelvis. Articulating and rounding the spine. One more. Just 
coming to pause, to meditate. Hands in Dhyana Mudra. Dhyana Mudra is index and index finger together, extending the rest of your fingers. Soften your wrist, placing your palms up on top of your legs. Lengthen the spine and take a breath into the heart and from the heart into the entire being. We're going to align the ears with the shoulders. Bring your chin to neutral, your cervical spine to neutral. And from here, we're going to completely relax through the face, but draw the vision to the top of the head. We're going to do the clock with the eyes to strengthen ocular muscles. So keeping the eyelids soft and closed. We're going to draw the vision to 12 o'clock. And from 12 o'clock, we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six. Pause at six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And you're going to do so at your own pace. And just notice how round is your clock. Is there any areas of the clock, any hours? that you're skipping or the circle gets a little bit deformed. So we're trying to slowly draw a circle with our eyes gazing as far as you can towards the hours of the clock. So let's do three times, nice and slow. Isolate each hour, pause at six. And relax your face, relax your eyes. You can gently scrunch and squeeze through your eyes and relax. Big smile to the face and relax. Drop your jaw, retract and protract your jaw, releasing any tension from your face. And from here, coming back to center. And now we're going to reverse, so going counterclockwise. Beginning at 12 and pausing at six, at your own pace for three, cycles. So from 12 going to 11 and 10 and 9, you notice the strength. 8 and 7 and 6 and pause. 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and 1 and 12. Notice if you're turning your head, try to keep your body relaxed. One more. And coming back to center. Doing the vowels. A, E, E, O, U. And it's just like silently massaging your face and your jaw with the vowels. So opening. And your jaw wide into A, A. Notice the muscles contracting and relaxing. E, O, U. So just silently a few times do this movement of the jaw and face to relax any tension from your face. <clears throat> Come to center, a big smile onto your face, your heart. Deep breath in. We're going to come to very simple shoulder rolls, but nice and slow. 
On the inhale, draw your shoulders in, feel the muscles, lift your shoulders up, and then exhaling, squeezing the shoulder blades together as if you're hugging a pencil in between the shoulder blades. And then drop and feel the shoulder blades. See if you can feel the bottom corner of your shoulder blades. Inhaling in, isolating your shoulders from the rest of the body. You can exhale through the mouth, inhaling through the nose. Two more. And pause to center. We're going to bring the hands in. Making big with your hands to your shoulders and reverse. So inhaling was up and exhaling down. Now we're going to exhale open and lift your elbows and inhale, come into center. You can even gently coil in elbow to elbow towards the navel and then coming back to center. And again, inhale. Open into your heart, draw the shoulders back, lift your elbows. So the shoulder blades are touching and exhaling, opening, creating more space through the upper back, releasing any tension from your upper back. Inhale deep, lift your ribcage. Exhale, coil in. Breathe into your armpits. Breathing into the sides of the body. And we're going to inhale the elbows up and we're going to pause here. And just place your hands in a comfortable position right around your neck area open your elbows wide see if you can align your ears with your shoulders here in that position we're going to breathe through the armpits deep and exhaling out through the mouth open up armpits keeping your head in alignment the shoulders will lift towards your ears. Exhaling out from the heart. Notice if you feel the entire ribcage lifting. Bring awareness to the back, lower ribcage. And breathe deep into that area. Bring your hands to behind your head. Interlace your hands behind your head. And with your palms, you're going to hug your neck and very gently draw the head and the neck up. So you are hugging. Your hands fit into that area in between your skull and the spine crosses of your cervical vertebra, the big bump. And from here, as we breathe in, we gently draw, very gently draw the energy in the hands up. And then exhale to relax. Keeping the length through the cervical spine. So breathe into your armpit. On your next inhalation, grow tall and exhale very gently, draw your chin up. So there's a slight soft extension of your cervical spine, creating a very gentle traction. Deep breath in and exhale. Two more times.
Your fingers are pressing into the marma points right on the back of your neck. One more. And inhaling, coming in to center, release your hands. And do a very gentle and soft shoulder rolls. And from here, you can choose to sit um, on your chair or from the mat, come to sit on the chair for spinal flexions or coming in to stand. And as we come in to stand, feet hip distance apart and just do a warm up. So walk in place, bending your knees, shifting the weight. Taking a moment to bring energy to your ankles. Roll your ankles a few times. Now standing tall, lift your toes, go down through your toes, shifting weight forward and back. Lifting your heels, feeling that energy through your legs, soften through your knees. Nice flow, soften through your hips, soften through your knees. Bring a little bit of bounce into the knees, sitting back. Hands on top of your legs for support, or you can use the chair. Just moving the energy from the feet to the rest of the body. And coming in to stand tall, toe heel your feet in. Ankles are touching, legs are touching. Shift the weight forward and inhale your arms up, just the arms. Deep breath in, lengthen through the entire being and exhale out. Keep that length through the spine. Engage your core, pelvic floor, and again, inhaling. Arms are stretching, stretching as much tissue as you can. Spread your fingers. Turn your palms in towards the center as you come to the top, and then exhale. Open your palms out, stretching from the shoulders to the fingertips, and breathing into the entire being. Breathing into the heart and through the heart. Now we're going to lift the heels. So if you're using the chair, use one hand to hold on to your chair. Inhale, shift the weight slowly forward as you lift your arms, keep your heels together, hugging your legs together, pelvic floor core, lifting the heels up. And exhaling slowly, lower your arms and lower your heels down. We're going to do it three more times, just like that. Inhaling up, lifting, rising, slowly lifting your heels as you stretch through the entire body. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Keep that length through in between ears and shoulders. And again. Deep breath in, open your heart, breathe in through your heart. Feel the softness through your body, feel the strength through your feet. And the last one, we're going to pause at the top, inhaling up. Keep pressing your, your feet, your heels together, sit bones hugging pelvic floor and Enjoy as you stand tall on your tippy toes, bring the hands together, hug, arms towards the head, breathe deep into your heart, exhaling out, lowering down, and pausing, Tadasana, mountain pose, notice the length through your body, Notice the lightness, notice the height. Definitely feeling a little bit higher, a little bit taller. Coming in here, 
And we're going to, for the side flexion, inhaling left arm comes up. So you can sit on the chair for these. Deep breath in, keeping the alignment of the shoulder with the hip, exhaling to the side. Less is more. Coming in to focus on lengthening the spine so the crown reaches to the sky, exhaling, softening. If your shoulder bothers you, bend your elbow, bring your hand to your neck. And lengthening, reaching with the elbow. Deep breath, exhaling from the spine. Inhaling, growing taller. That was Alexa. Alexa, drop it. Inhaling, rising. And exhaling, releasing. Notice the left side, notice the right side. I don't know if you guys have these things, but I can't even say it's me because it's going to talk back to me, but I don't have one at home. I couldn't have one because it doesn't really understand my Polish accent, but somehow here I trigger it with my yoga cueing, so that's interesting. Anyways, inhaling the right arm up. For those that heard, I'm not sure if you could have heard the music. <laughs> Inhaling all the way up, and now we're coming into flexion to the left side. Reaching and expanding through the right side. You can bring your left hand into your waist for support. That makes you feel more grounded. One more breath. And inhaling all the way up. And exhale, coming into the dasana. Hands forward, notice. We're coming to do three sets of salutations. So place your chair. The seats facing the center of your mat. So we can do a little bit of um, kapha pacifying, winter pacifying salutation for this winter solstice. Feet together, standing in front of your chair. We're coming to inhale, lift the heels and lift the arms, gazing forward or gazing up. And from here, exhale and lower your hands to the side as we did, lowering your heels. One breath, second breath, inhaling up, just the arms. And exhaling into a gentle back bend. Inhaling back to center. And exhale, just the arms, standing tall. Keep all that length through your spine, through your body. Keep hugging your legs together, lift your pelvic floor. Inhale, your arms up, hands together. And exhale into halfway fold, coming in. Hands to the heart or your chair. So here you have your chair for support. Coming into halfway fold and pause. Lengthen through the back of your legs. Lengthen through the spine. On your next inhalation, rise up. Our hands over the head. And exhale, open and stretch. So we're going to repeat that. Three breaths, three movements. Inhaling, heels and arms. And exhaling, heels and arms. Inhaling, just arms. Coming into gentle back and keep all that length. Pelvis forward. Draw the navel in. Inhale in. 
Lengthen. Exhale, hands down. Next, inhale and arms up. Hands together. Coming into forward fold. Hands to the heart. With the chair and inhale, rise. Hands over the head. Exhale, your hands down. And again, inhale up. Heels, arms. Exhale. Inhale, just the arms. Exhale, and back bend. Inhaling, center. And exhale in the arms. Inhale, arms. Hands to the heart as you exhale, forward fold. And inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, release. Now, staying rooted and grounded. We're going to come into a forward fold, just the spine. So we're going to deep stretch through the spine, arms along the body, standing in front of your chair, so you have your chair for support. And we take a deep breath in, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, chin to chest and begin to fold. You can bend your knees slightly, bend your hips, but focus on folding your spine. So chin to chest and very slowly. Folding down in the spine. Hands to the top of your knees, staying in a curved position. And then inhaling, rising, stacking each and every vertebra, just like little blocks. And the chin comes last. Come to center and pause. Gaze forward, roll your shoulders back. Just pause for a moment, shifting the weight forward and back. Inhale, deep lengthen the spine, exhale, chin to chest. Again, rolling forward, softly bend your knees, bend your hips, hands over your thighs, gently massaging your thighs as you bend your spine. And come to the top of your knees, and from here, use the inhalation. Rise up. And center. Pause. Take a deep breath in. Notice. And one more time. Inhale up. Grow tall and exhale. Chin to chest. Start rolling forward. Bend your knees. Bend your hips. Sliding hands down to your knees. Then gently exhale and sit into Uttasana. And inhale, look forward, gaze forward. Lift your sit bones, lengthen through the spine, coming into Uttasana in that position. Bring your hands to your heart, engage your core, sit a little bit low. Deep and steady breath. Lengthen. Especially focus on lengthening the cervical spine, the length in between your ears and your shoulders. And from here, inhaling, rising. And exhale, release your arms. Come into mountain pose. Shift the weight forward and back. Lift your heels, lift your toes. And coming into center, set up the namaskar, inhale, heels up, arms up, gazing forward, and exhale, lower, and down to your feet, arms only, inhale up, bring your hands together, exhale, gentle back bend. From here, we're coming to inhale center and exhale, hands to the heart, coming into forward fold. So this time, hands to the chair, extend through the back of your legs. 
and you can stay in T ball or exhale, bend your elbows and use the strength of your arms, connecting your hands down to the chair, turn your elbow creases forward and exhale, bend your elbow, keep the length through the spine, keep the length through the legs, gazing down or slightly in front of you, keeping your neck in alignment, keeping your cervical spine in neutral position, from here, inhale, rise up, press up, and stay in table. Shift the weight forward, loading your arm bones. So here we are, strengthening arm bones, lifting your heels up, and lower your heels. Keep the length through the spine. You can roll onto your heels if that feels good. Lift your toes, and again, you should feel the release through the lower back through doing that. Your SI joints, pelvis, keeping your knees extended without locking your knees and shifting the weight forward and back. If you do feel tension through your feet, come to center and invert and evert for three. And from here, we're coming into center, cat and cow. Inhale, knees forward, lift your chin and drop the navel. Inhale, into the belly, big Buddha belly. Exhaling, coiling in, lightly, draw the navel in. Lower ribs in, chin to chest, for three. Inhaling, drop the navel. Lengthening through the back of the legs, lengthening through the spine. And exhale through the mouth. Beautiful. From here, we're going to step the right leg forward, left leg back for warrior two. So I think we have the warrior two master. We are going to use the momentum and you're going to find softness to your legs and use the momentum to rise up and coming in. So we're, we'll, we're going to do that a few more times. Extend through the leg, find the chair, find the softness through the front knee, back hip, and just move, shifting the weight, using the arm to rise up, coming to warrior two. And again, coming in and rise up, warrior two, draw the knee towards the baby toe, Rising up, and again, rising up. Keep the strength through your legs. Now pause. When you come to warrior two, pause. Lower your pelvis, draw the knee center towards the baby toe. Find a comfortable position here. We're going to draw circles, aligning the shoulders. Gazing forward, turning your head forward. This should actually feel good on your neck. And you gently draw small circles, pumping circles, one direction. Keep expanding from the heart and reverse. And reverse. Breathing into the heart, reverse. And one more time, reverse. Exhale, release your arms, cross and open, inhaling all the way up. Big wings, bend your elbows at the top and exhale down, bend your elbows at the bottom. Stay in warrior two. Opening through the sides. One more. Coming into center. We're coming into the chair. So right hand to the chair, left hand to the chair. Lift the back foot and pivot. Coming to step 
or hop lightly, slowly, your back leg in and your front leg back, coming into plank. So feet together, shifting the weight in, root down through your hands and align your shoulders with your hands. Draw the navel in, pelvic the floor in. One more breath, slow breath. From here, we're going to step the left leg forward and pivot on the back foot, coming into warrior two on the left side. But before that, we're going to play with the movement, with the momentum, opening in, shifting the weight, circle the arm. Beautiful, one more. And coming into warrior two, finding a warrior, gazing forward, hugging through the feet and draw the energy into the center, that scissoring action, hugging through the right sit bone, left sit, sit bone. And from here, begin to draw small circles with your arms, extending and lengthening from the heart. Relax through your neck, reverse. And reverse. And reverse. And reverse. One more time, reverse. Exhale, down, bend your elbows, cross your arms, inhale up, all the way up, bend your elbows, cross your forearms. Keep your core active, your heart expanded, stretching from your shoulders to the fingertips, one more. Coming to center, look forward, reach for the chair, one hand, the other hand. Toe your foot in, finding your alignment, and then pivot, lift, step the right leg forward, left leg back, and come into plank. One more breath, shift the weight forward and back, and shift the weight all the way back to align your pelvis over your feet. Exhale, and lower your head, lower your heart, so you can align your ears with your arms without collapsing into the armpits. We're gonna take a deep breath into the belly, Dropping the needle and exhale without changing the spine alignment. Just exhale from the needle, navel in. One more breath. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward, look forward, and see if you can sit back into really low Utkatasana here, holding on to the chair, connecting belly to thighs. Take a deep breath into the lower ribcage, into the bottom of your lungs. And lengthening through the spine, through the arms. Shh. 
And from here, very carefully coming to rise. So see if you have enough strength to let go of the chair and using the momentum, inhale, lift your arms and come to stand. Exhale, release your hands so gracefully as much as you can coming into stand. Pause for a moment and coming in to sit. Coming in to sit on your chair with your feet together, legs together. We're coming to sit on the edge of the chair and inhale the arms up. Bend both of the elbows and bring your hands to your elbows. Opening up. Deep breath in, align your elbows with your shoulders. Breathing into the sides, breathing into the armpits. And as we talked last time about this entire chest being a container, so when we breathe, the tendency is to expand from the front, but see if we can find the balance and lift simultaneously through the back and through the front. Beautiful, extend your arms up, interlace your fingers and extend, reaching your palms up to the sky. Take a deep breath in and exhale into very gentle back breath. Keep all that length through the spine, core is active, legs are pressing together very lightly. Gently hugging with all your toes and down to the feet, inhale, come to center. Release your hands, bend your elbows, lower your arms and stretch to the side. Exhale your hands behind you. Now interlace your hands behind you. Draw your hands down to the ground. Scoop your big bone to navel, lengthen through the spine and hug through your shoulder blades. Take a moment here. Notice your right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, left shoulder, right shoulder, gently hugging in. And from here, we're going to take a deep inhale in and forward fold. So we always exhale and forward fold, forward, forward folding on the exhale. Deep breath in and exhale, connect belly to thighs. Don't worry about the hands. Gently draw your hands away. You don't have to lift far. Just having the integrity and strength to connect and draw your hands away from the body. We're going to pause here. Keep your tension through your arms, draw your hands to your lower back and softly bend your elbows. And then inhaling, rising up, release your hands. Shake it off, swing it forward and back, shake it off. Inhale the right arm up, bend your elbow and exhale the left hand behind you. See if you can find your fingers or placing your hands just on your back, anywhere. The left back hand on the lower back, elbows bent. Find a comfortable position here. We're going to breathe into the heart and open through the chest. Grow tall. Reach with your elbow, lead with your elbow. As you inhale, extending, exhale, gently press the top hand into the back. And again, the lower ribs, front, back, side. And then inhaling, reaching up, reaching up, reaching down, expand from the heart. 
Draw the left shoulder down, right shoulder up. Take a deep breath in, both sides. And exhale, release the right arm. We're coming to draw the left leg on top of the right leg. And we're coming into a twist to the left side, inhaling the right arm back up, palms facing in. Draw the left shoulder down and from here, exhale, twist from the belly, release your arms. Now focusing on the back ribs, inhale deep, exhale, twist. See if you can breathe into the lower back ribs, lengthening the spine, exhaling, twisting as if we were bringing a wet towel, at the same time keeping all that length through your spine, oxygenating every single cell in the body, one more breath here, Inhaling back to center, release, shake it up. Bring your feet together, knees are 90 degree angle. And again, coming to sit on the edge of your chair, being supported, make sure that you're always stable and supported on your chair. Inhale, arms up, hands together, interlace and flip your bones up, pause. Just notice the right side, notice the left. Now inhale, grow taller. Pelvic floor lifted, core. And then reach your crown towards your hands. And keep reaching your hands towards the sky. One more breath. And as you exhale, bend your elbows. Release your hands, interlace your hands behind you. Take a deep breath in and pause, have your shoulder blades. And your next exhalation, forward fold. Keeping all that spine, heart open forward, connecting. So you're folding from the hips. Folding from the hips, connecting belly to thighs. Draw the hands away from the body. So the spine is still in alignment. We're not rounding the spine. Notice your back ribs. Breathe in. And then inhale, rise up. And exhale, release your arms, swing it forward and back. Bring both of your arms up, bend your elbows, arm your elbows with your hands. Take a deep breath in and exhale into a gentle back bend. Keep breathing, expanding the heart, lifting the spine, exhaling, softening into the back bend. One more breath. Inhaling back to center, exhale, release your arms and inhale your left arm up, right arm down and draw, reach the right hand towards the ground, reach the left hand towards the sky. Breathing evenly to the entire chest. And bend your left elbow, top elbow, and reach the right hand behind you. Resting your hand on your sacrum or your forearm on your back, however your shoulders allow you. Maybe you're just staying low and keeping rooted through the right hand. 
We're going to focus on the left side, inhaling deep, reach elbow up. And exhale, gently pressing the top hand down into your back. And again. One more breath. And inhaling, reaching up and release, shake it off. Shaking through the wrist, fingers, forearms, arms, elbows, shoulders. And there are very few, just lifting the arms, inhale up and exhale, using the momentum, folding forward, lifting up, very soft upper body. And then inhaling back to center, feet together really working on releasing tension from neck, platysma, all the upper chest muscles where we tend to hold shoulders. So again, inhaling arms up and interlace your fingers, extend, exhale, soften through the body. Pause here for a moment, breathing through the sides, armpits, arms, reaching up. From here, we're going to come in gentle back bend. So as we pelvis forward, hug in through the core, pelvic floor, activate, core is strong, hugging skin to muscle, muscle to bones. Lift through the upper, sorry, lower back ribs. As much as you lift, lift through the upper ribs. And then inhale back to center, exhale, your hands to the side, stretching as much tissue as you can, palms facing down. And then interlace your hands behind you. Draw your hands away from the body towards the ground. Take a deep inhale in, exhale, fold from the head. Keep your heart open, chin is up, any amount. Bend your elbows and then draw your hands away as you extend your elbows. Squeeze through your shoulder blades. Take a deep breath in to the heart and then exhale, folding forward. Now gently folding forward, find the softness through your elbows and even draw your hands into the back. So placing your hands on your back, allow your elbows and shoulders to relax. Take a deep breath in and exhale down the spine, chin to chest. Allow the head to hang heavy. Breathing to the back of your neck. And on your next inhalation, rise up. Gazing forward, lift up, nice and slow. Bring your hands to your thighs for support and help and come to center. Pause, just be, just sit, notice. Take a moment to shift forward and back. Look down through your feet. And begin to lean forward and back and using the momentum as you lift your arms, we're going to come into Utkatasana. So shifting the way, coming into Utkatasana from the chair. And pause in Utkatasana. Exhale your hands to the heart. Roll your shoulders back. 
and inhale, press up to stand. Release your hands, mountain pose. And from here, come to face your chair. Feet together. Inhale, your arms and heels up. Any amount. Exhale, down. Inhale, your arms up. Hands together. Exhale, gentle back bend. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees. Find your chair. Step away. Come into your plank. Shift the weight forward. Three breaths. Focus front and back ribs. Expanding through the back as much as you're expanding through the front. Step the right leg forward. Keep the left heel up. We're coming into the left forearm, right on the chair, connecting the right side of your ribcage to the right thigh. So gently pivot your left foot, back foot up, away. And from here, coming into a gentle twist with opening the right shoulder, opening the right arm. If you can, gaze up. Look down through the left forearm, so you can gaze up. I'm going to gently pulse with the breath here. One more breath. Inhaling up. Exhale, lower your hand behind you. And then turn forward. Coming to both forearms, hands together. Going low into the hip just to give an extra stretch through the left hip. Breathing deep into the heart, gaze forward, bring your hands into the chair, press up, extend through the front leg, pivot on the heel, pivot on the back foot and toe heel in. Coming into Tadasana. Mountain pose. Notice the way you feel, the way the body feels, and turn yourself towards the chair for last sun salutation. Inhaling, lifting heels, arms. Exhale, lower. Notice the difference in the body. Inhaling, just the arms. Exhale, gentle back bend. And inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Find the chair and step the left leg forward, right leg back, stay tall on the back heel, inhale right arm up, exhale down to the chair, connecting the left rib cage and thigh, get low, square your hips, inhale left arm up, open up and gaze up. Turn your palm in a comfortable position so your shoulder feels in alignment. For most, it is forward towards the head, the palms facing towards the head. Deep breath in. Exhaling to the front, both forearms down. Exhale, go down and deep into the hip, opening up, lengthen the spine. Keep the length between your shoulders and your ears. And then from here, inhaling, rising, hands to the chair, extend through the front leg, using that momentum, hop forward. And from here, feet together, hands on the chair, exhale down to Utkatasana, very low Utkatasana, connecting belly to thighs, finding the ground, and maybe from here, coming in to sit on the ground, if not, come to stand and make your way to sit right in the middle of your mat. Coming into Utkatasana, sorry, Naukasana, both pose. So take a moment to sit, find the tripod for balance, extend your arms forward, 
And then draw your toes in towards the knee. Draw your heels in, lift your heels. And then bring your legs to the table. You have the chair for support. If you need the chair, extend your arms up. Roll your shoulders back. One more breath. And exhale, come to lie on your back, extend your arms to the side and draw your knees into your chest. We're coming to form the table with our legs. The spine is neutral, lower back is lifted. Hugging your legs together, arms are extended, palms are facing down, look down through your shoulders. And when you're ready, exhale your legs halfway to the right and look towards the left side. Hold the twist, three breaths. Really rooting down through the left shoulder. And inhaling back to center. Exhale to the left. And then inhale, center, draw your knees into your chest. And out through the spine. And from here, we're going with peace fingers. We're going to wrap the peace fingers over the toes. Keep your heels together. Press your heels together and extend through your legs and your arms. Lifting your shoulders off the floor. And then exhale, soften through your shoulders using the weight and gravity. Extend through your legs. You may be holding your ankles or your shins. Move down through the pelvis. And from here, release your hands. Open your arms to the side and cross your left leg on top of the right leg. Bend to your knees, draw your knees into your chest. Exhale into the left side. Legs to the left. Anchor. Breathe to the back, the kidney area of the lower back. Breathing into your hip. Breathing into your right shoulder. And coming back to center. Exhale, gently roll to the left side. Scoop your knees and roll back. Bring your hands to your knees and draw gentle circles just to stabilize the pelvis. And coming into center, place your feet in front of your pelvis, extend the arms along the body. Coming into bridge position, tuck your chin in, gazing up, inhale, scoop your rebound to navel, lift your pelvis up. Deep and steady breath. And your next exhalation, lower down. And draw your knees to your chest. Extend your legs. And cross the right leg on top of the left leg. Extend your arms to the side. Exhale to the right. Gaze to the left. So draw the left ear towards the ground to open through the neck. Your shoulders are rounded and heavy. Breathing deep. Into the left side. 
left hip, lower back, left shoulder. And then one more breath, exhaling to roll onto the right side and coming into center. Gently rock side to side. Find your alignment, extend your arms along the body and lift your legs up to the sky, pointing and flexing. Draw your chin into your chest and dry toes in towards your heart. Lengthen through the back of your legs. When you're ready, exhale halfway. Halfway engage through the core, strong core. Chin to chest, gently pressing through the back of your head to anchor. Exhale halfway, have the legs together, heels together, sit bones, and halfway. Or maybe you hit the chair. No surprise. And from here, exhaling, lowering all the way down, coming into Shavasana. And Shavasana, breathing into the heart. And coming back to the organ breathing as we did at the beginning of the class. Let yourself perceive the breath through the organs. Feeling how the lungs breathe, how the heart breathes, how the kidneys breathe, and how liver and spleen and pancreas dilates and retracts expands and contracts. It's allowing that beautiful life force energy to flow through your organs, oxygenating and filling the organs with prana, this life force energy, vitality, nutrients. And breathing into the heart space, the spiritual heart, the center of your chest. And from the heart in your chest, expanding into the lung tissues and the kidneys and all the organs in your abdominal cavity. Allowing them to pulse with life and prana energy, cleansing, pacifying, washing up. And releasing any stagnation. Any tension. Breathing in vitality into every single cell in the body, through the heart, allowing this Viana energy to circulate it all. So now deepen your breath, take a deep inhale, and exhale through the mouth with a gentle sigh, letting go of any of the tension, any of the heaviness, anything that no longer serves subconsciously or consciously in this body. And gently begin to breathe out through your hands, breathe out through your feet, bring energy, to your hands, to your feet. And then begin to move your fingers, move your toes.
And then slowly bring your knees into your chest and make your way to lie on the left side of your body. Harnessing, gathering this nourishing moon energy from the full, full moon. The nectar, oh, just beautiful energy. And from here, coming to rise to seated position. Make your way to comfortable seated position. And bring your hands to your heart for a moment. Breathe deep into your heart, back to the heart. Tapping into the compassion, tapping into the gratitude, expanding that from the heart and beyond these boundaries of the skin of the body. Expanding it to community, expanding it to the entire world. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being here. I wish you this practice serves well to your body. Namaste. And happy winter solstice to you all. Bye.